Today's COVID update is brought to you by Fultech Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service. And welcome back to Open Your Eyes. It is a fun Friday and we're about to uh, start with some fun, a fun conversation actually, on the business of music virtual seminar. We've got two uh, music producers in, Ken Doyle Simpson, along with Dane Linares. They're on the screen, by the way. That's where they are. So when I say they're in there on the screen, and they'll be telling us all about this seminar, guys. Good morning and welcome. Morning. Morning. Yeah, Ken Doyle, I, 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 barely, hear, I barely hear you, but you're going to want a serious microphone there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a student. So guys, we, 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 know, we know what the situation is at this particular point, and things are tough, especially for the entertainment industry, people who are making music, people who are MCs, people who, uh, people who actually find that as a part of their livelihood, or at least their come up for the weekend. And it's tough, because for the most part, people don't know where to go or how to utilize what they've got. Online is there, but how do you do that? So let's get on into this, the business of music virtual seminar. What is it, is it about, and uh, why did you decide to start it? Um, well, you did give a key point. Um, we know that for most artists, um, you know, the whole um, music scene really shut down when it comes to live performances. And um, one thing when I stop, the digital money, you know, mm -hmm. um, the digital music. All right, we lost your audio there, uh, Ken Doyle. So there may be a connection issue yeah. or something. Let's see. Dean, Dean can you chime in? Can you? Uh, we okay. hear you now. Great. Yeah. Okay, good. I think it was a song card accidentally bumped the wire. <laughs> yes, but um, um, so yes, we, we, the, the seminar was geared around um, us teaching our personal techniques that we use to generate um, royalties online mm -hmm. through the. Um, popular sites like Spotify, YouTube, you know, everybody really knows about that. Um, there's a large market up there, millions of people go on that site every day, mm -hmm. or those sites. And, um, you know, we just shared, I mean, we can't share it up here because it's a ton of what, um, you know, really the, the seminar was geared towards that. Um, if you weren't there, you missed a whole lot. Um, unfortunately, we never, um, we, well, we had the, the thought of recording the seminar, but you know, because it was like a real interactive meeting, none of us who were the admins of that meeting was able to, um, you know, remember to say, okay, let's record this thing, you know. <laughs> I don't know if Dean want to add to that. All right, Dean, come in. Yeah. Um... Just what he said, um, we just covered uh, foundational steps to get things uh, set up mm -hmm. for the artists to be eligible to collect royalties and then we walk them through that Yeah. and stuff like that. But it's like, a, like we said, a lot of, lot of information. The, the meeting itself actually lasted almost four hours or so. so yeah, it was, it was a lot. Yeah. So, you know, I, I think it's interesting. Both of you are music producers, so you help in the creation of the music. So this, this additional step of ensuring that you are on the right platforms, set up in the right way to receive funds, um, that really takes place after your work is concluded. From your experience, how much did you find that there was the knowledge of how to follow up after after um, the art the artists have created the music. Um, well, we a lot of people. Um, there were there were a lot of things we had to um, mention, especially with the banking. Mm -hmm. um, even after um, some of the artists got on these sites that we recommend, they were still faced with certain stuff that was not made public by these sites that yeah. you had to do to ensure that you were able to receive directly. For instance, we spoke about um, 
PayPal. Mm -hmm. PayPal, if with PayPal has to go in, in conjunction with Pioneer, who is the actual receiver of the money, who issues a card for you to um, withdraw the money from the ATMs and use it, use your card in the stores. Mm -hmm. But um, if you were to just sign up to Pioneer and PayPal and try to make the link, you would still find a roadblock. So um, certain things we had to make clear as to yeah. what you need to do before you even can add the, the issued checking account from Pioneer to the PayPal account. So it's not that. Um, so I just want to clear the air. Anybody who has ever tried um, getting on Pioneer and having their royalties come from PayPal, you can do it but there are a few steps that you have to take so don't don't think that it doesn't work for belize it does work for belize but you just have to um do certain things first all right let's 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 break it you down you always right? hit me up on on <laughs> on facebook to get that information right? well i want to break it down even further right so um we see our artists going more digital they put their music on spotify they put their music on youtube they put their music on the i don't know uh, dozens of, of, of platforms that are available. How do they make the money? Wow, that's a hard question. Yeah. Is it the, the number of listens, downloads? <laughs> what, what, where is the revenue generated from? Is it how many people listen or how many people download? Um, majority of the income is well through spot if through the two sites that we mentioned mm -hmm. majority of the income comes from ad revenue okay just i believe it works the same way channel five works but on a digital yeah um you know on a digital platform yeah. you know ads are being displayed when the music um is uh, is streamed yeah and then the artist gets a per percentage of that ad revenue okay Great. So uh, that's the first step that I wanted to get into. The second is clearly your revenue increases the more people watch it because more people will see those very annoying ads in the middle of your music video if we use YouTube. Um, but that's the point. So you also talk about strategies of how to get the music to be more popular. Um, I know you can't give out all your, your tips and tricks, but, but let's, let's talk about that. What, what is this uh, golden tool that you've been sharing? Um, <laughs> well, um, the secret really is um, you have to know the market. You have to know what each country is paying. Okay. Um, I could put Belize in this for example. Um, we have very few companies who use um, Google AdSense as a means, uh, well, not AdSense, it would be AdWords for advertiser AdSense for people who, um, like myself, the, the content creators. Mm -hmm. um, so there are, there are very few businesses who use Google AdWords as a means of advertisement because we still rely on a lot of television marketing and radio marketing. So the income from a place like Belize um, would be too small for us to make something profitable at this time, mm -hmm. right? So we have to target countries that have a large competition amongst countries so that um, the payout rate for royalties could be higher for us. I don't know if I could explain that any better, but um, that's really the whole uh, um so where you target your videos that's what's going to matter okay um yeah we still get into techniques yeah. <laughs> uh, oh that's <laughs> what i'm trying to understand um, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out if your smile is that i'm not getting it but your smile um, is you don't want to tell me everything <laughs> you could you could always hit my, my myself up and Dane on Facebook. Um, <laughs> like I said, if I get into it, you it's, know, the whole, it'll be, this okay. will be the end of. All right, so, so, so tell us, you had the seminar <laughs> yesterday. You had the seminar yesterday. Yes. So you did share some of these tips with, with artists. Um, you know, yes. let, let's, let's get Dane in and, and talk about uh, how you would gauge uh, the level of knowledge and how much people learned um, in the seminar itself. 
Well, um, I would say <clears throat> I would say um, was from some people from zero all the way up to out of a hundred. I would say wow. nine, ninety-five. Um, it was a wide range. So a lot of people knew a little about a little. Some knew more about more, and uh, we just helped bring it full circle for everybody involved. Yeah. So for some, it was like eye-opening and then for others it was like oh this is the missing link okay but you know one of the things uh, guys is that as an artist you might not have the platform to or, or you might not have the 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 where to go in terms of producing music producing your music you guys are producers right you guys are producers uh, how is how is that industry going on right now and uh, do we see uh, an influx of artists saying you know what I need to get some work done because that's the root thing. You need to produce before you actually put things out. What are we seeing from our artists? Um, I think really um, the, well, it, it, everything slowed down for sure because, you know, people are not making money. A lot of artists rely on their, their um, nine to five to, to even, you know, get music out. Mm -hmm. um, Myself and then we had started a program. I don't know if you wanted to tell, um, share that on, on Open Your Eyes. Well, by all means, <laughs> since you're here. Yeah, you guys have started a program. This is definitely where you want to where you want to um, get that out, so people know exactly what the program is that you have started. Um, because okay, look, it, um, it, um, let me say this: we uh -huh. we 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 are in the process of tailoring certain things about the program um, to facilitate artists who, you know, especially do not have the funds to, um, you know, to 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 get production out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. A lot of the things that we shared last night um, um, would would be useful to artists who may not have the money to say do a full production because if you really look at the breakdown of a song you have to pay the producer to build the beat yeah. then you have to pay the studio time to record mm -hmm. the vocals on the beat and then if you're if the same producer is not mixing and mastering the song then you also need have a cost for the okay. audio engineer to to bring that master together. So, um, like I said, I can't speak on it because we're we are tailoring, you know, okay. we're, we're fixing certain stuff. All right. But the information we shared last night will help to generate money from a different angle to make these things possible. If I'm a, a aspiring artist or I've got some music going on, I missed this seminar yesterday, how can I get back to it or uh, where can I go so that I could get this information because I want to I wanna generate some income as well. Okay, um, well, you could always hit me up on Facebook. You could hit up Dane. Um, unfortunately, and I have to say this because we did not get the chance to um, say this last night because, you know, it was a very interactive um, conversation. But... Um, a lot of the stuff that we mentioned last night is not things that are readily available on the internet for you, especially when it comes to like the rates we get for marketing. Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot of advertisement from companies who do deceptive marketing. They just want to collect your money. And in the end, you will notice that you won't make a profit. And, and the purpose of our seminar was to give you our, um, or open our connections, basically, um, to artists who may have tried some of these things before and it did not turn out profitable for them. So um, linking us directly is the best way to, 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 to make these things that we applied um, work the same way for you mm -hmm. um you could hit me up like i say on facebook then on facebook mm -hmm. um you know and we could we could deal with you at whatever level you are so if you don't have all the stuff you need 
to make you eligible to collect money, but you are not yet generating the money, we could reach it there too. And if you start, like they instead, if you start from scratch, we could help you all the way up to receiving royalties. Um, finally, for me, is it as an artist? It is. Is it expensive to put my music out there to generate income? Uh, it it it's not expensive for some. Uh, it depends on what you mean by expensive. Was about to it say is define affordable expensive. Though. What's that name? Define expensive. <laughs> I mean, I need you know, a five hundred dollars. I need a thousand dollars. What do I need? Uh, what 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 should be my budget if I want to put my music out there? I just get this hit, everybody in Belize okay. love it. Um, but I want to put it out there so the world could hear it. What do I uh, what what would be a quote so that I could put my music out there to say okay. that I'm comfortable? I can with that? tell you um, with the, the the sites we recommended, it will cost you just to get you set up to um, you know be able to or be eligible to collect royalties. It will cost you about maybe a hundred and forty Belize dollars to get this the um stuff up. But if you come through me and Dane or me or Dane, we can get you um because we are a member of these sites so many years, we can get you discounted rates. Okay. So it can cost you less than a hundred and forty. Okay. Will, will there be another seminar? Yeah. We, we did have some stuff we didn't um, touch. There are, some, there are also some important things we, after me and um, Dane, we, we made, we, I called Dane last night after the seminar when we, you know, when we really brainstormed the whole thing, we realized a lot of things we did not get to say, but I believe, um, We'll see how it runs first, and then you know, we'll check the feedback because the majority of the stuff that is important we got the chance to bring out. Yeah. So we'll see, you know, what the response from the artists who actually start, you know, yeah. we could see the roadblocks if they have any roadblocks, and then we could probably fine tune things by doing another seminar. All right, guys. Uh, well, to close, why don't you tell us um, or tell artists out there just. Um, you know, maybe they think that they are reaching their potential in terms of what they can earn. Um, why don't you, you tell us about what the possibilities are in, in what uh, an artist here in Belize can earn? Okay, huh. That's... Uh, <laughs> Give us a range, yeah. If I were to be real honest with you, the, yeah. method we shared, the method we shared last night is... The sky is actually the limit. It it um I like that. It is the strategy we put together allows you to um make up to this is before taxes by the way. You can make more than a hundred percent back in return. Okay. okay. Right? So after taxes, you know, that might be um yeah, I can't do that calculation right now. But, <laughs> you but say hundred percent return, so you'll make what a, you'll it, make it, back it, more it, than it, back. because a lot of things come into factor. Yeah. Another thing yeah. that we did not mention last night that the calculations we made were based only on one section of the royalties, and and there are three, two other um, yeah, there are two other. There are two other um, areas that you can collect royalties from that, you know, we did not mention, which will still bring back income awesome. to facilitate that loss from taxes. All right. Great. And how do people get in touch? You can reach us on Facebook. Hit me up on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. So Ken Doyle Simpson on Facebook number, and Dean Linares yeah. on Facebook. All right. all right, brothers, here is wishing you guys all the best, man, and uh, keep up the good work in terms of trying to provide that avenue for artists, all right? Thank you. All right. You're very welcome. Thank you, too. All right.
Well, we're about to take that break, and when we come back, we will have in with us representatives from Cellular World. So I'll tell you what, they've got something good going on. The launch of Samsung Galaxy Note 20. I don't know why I just had to do that voice, because it's a 20. We'll check that out when we come back. <laughs> This COVID update was brought to you by Foltech Systems, your technology center, where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service.